Welcome back to a new episode where I want to create three boxes next to each other with content inside of it. It's more like the surfaces that we will be providing to clients. It's more like the surfaces that you will be providing to clients when they land on your page and they scroll down with a scroll down button. The output will be something like this. So I will be creating a header called surfers and below that we will have three boxes with content inside of it. And it looks actually pretty good. So let's get right into it. So let's go to our index.html and right below our content background, let's create a new div. Let me scroll down a little bit. Let's create a div and I want to give it an ID. So hashtag introduction dash section. Let's hit tab and let's hit enter. Inside my div, I want to create an H2 because we already have an H1 on our background. And since the H1 is unique and can only be used once on a website, we need to create an H2. In between my H2, I want to write down surfaces. And below my surfaces, I want to add something which is called an HR. And this is something that we haven't talked about. And this is used to separate content with a line. The reason why I'm actually giving my div an ID and not a class is because we need to change the enter inside our button. Well, inside our scroll down button. So in our href, let's write down introduction dash section. Let's check the output. And well, this doesn't look good, but you can actually see what an HR is because it's our line right below our surfaces. So below our div, let's create a new div and give it an ID of grid dash layout dash 33. And the reason why I'm calling it layout 33 is because I want to create three boxes inside a 100% width. So we have three boxes of 33%. So let's hit tab, enter again. We want to use a grid layout. So we need to create divs right inside of it. And the first thing that I want to add is a font awesome icon. Let me zoom in a little bit. So let's go back to the browser. Let's write down font awesome. Let's search for a code icon. Let's click on free. And it's actually the second one that I want. So let's click on it. Let's copy it. And let's paste it right inside of the div. Below my code icon, I want to create an H3 and I want to give my box a name. And the name that I want to give is, well, similar to the icon that I have. So I want to write down web development. And right below my H3, I want to create a paragraph with a couple of words inside of it. So let's write down lorem 8 and hit tab. If you do have content, I actually recommend you to use it right here. What we actually can do is to copy our div and let's paste it two more times right below it. Let's save it. And for the second one, we need to actually find a new icon. So let's go to our font awesome. Let's write down creative common. Let's click on the comment plus. Let's copy the icon. And let's replace it with the code icon of the second one. Let's change the content inside web development to brand identity. And we can actually leave the lorem ipsum. And for the third one, I want to call it creative design. So the H3. And let's go to font awesome again. And let's write down design. And on free, of course. And we can actually use the object group. This looks, well, pretty good. So let's copy it. Let's change the I class. And let's save it. And if we actually close off Front Awesome and we refresh the browser, well, this actually looks pretty bad. Well, and I actually can see the brand identity. So let's look another one. So let's write down lamp. Click on free, and oh, well, oh, let's actually click on the book open. This one looks good too. Let's copy it, and let's replace the second one, the middle one. Save it. 
refresh the browser and they are all working right now but it looks bad so let's go to our style sheet and make it beautiful the first thing that I want to style is the header of the section so let's write down hex check introduction dash section and what I want to do is to set the margin equal to 80 pixels top and I want the left and the right to be auto and the bottom to be zero so let's save it and you can see that we will create a space right above surfaces what I also want to do is to text align everything in the center so let's save it and I want to style my H2 so the surfaces and we can use a global styling because we want to use our H2 only for the headers. So let's go right below H1. Let's write down H2. And let's set the color equal to black. And let's set the font size equal to 42 pixels. So save it. Refresh the browser. And this looks already better. Now for the HR, which is a line, which you actually can see, but it's well across the page right now. So what I want to do is to go right below my H2, write down HR. Since the ID of our section is already text aligned center and margin zero auto, we only need to set the width to 30 pixels. So let's save it and refresh it. And you can see that we created a line right below our surfaces, which looks way better than before. What I want to do now is to style the grid boxes because, well, they don't look good right now. So let's go to the bottom again and right below introduction section let's write down hashtag grid dash layout dash 33 and if you're not familiar and if you're not familiar with grid I recommend you to watch my previous episode where I will go in depth about grid and the first thing that we need to do is to set the display equal to grid so the style sheet actually knows that we're working with grid what we need to do next it to set the grid dash template dash columns. I want the columns to be one fraction, so one FR, another one fraction, and another one, so three boxes next to each other. I also want to, well, if we save it right now and refresh it, we actually created our grid system, but I want to create a grid gap. So right below grid template columns, let's write down grid dash gap and set it to 3 EM. And I also want to set the width equal to 80% because right now it's aligned to the left and to the right. And I want to set the margin equal to zero auto. So 10% left, 10% right. Save it, refresh it. And this looks good because you can actually see that we have set up a grid system and we created white space at the left and the right of our box. What I want to do now is to style the div blocks, so the blocks inside my grid system. So let's go below our grid layout 33. Well, we can actually copy it. Let's paste it right below it. And what we want to say is, well, we want to style our grid layout 33, but we want to style greater than div. So basically every div inside my grid layout 33 and we can remove everything inside of it. And the first thing that I want to do is to give it a background color. And right now it's white, but I want to give it a white grayish background color. And whenever someone hovers on it, I want it to be white. So let's set the background color to F2, F2, F2. I also want to add padding of 18 pixels while everywhere. Save it, refresh it. I also want to text align everything in the center since the default is to the left. All right. I want to create a box shadow around while well, every grayish background. So let's set it to zero pixels, zero pixels, 10 pixels, and the color is black. Let's save it. Let's refresh it. And this looks good. But you can see that the problem right now is that there is no space below my HR well in between my HR and my div. So what we need to do is to set the margin equal to 80 pixels top, auto right, 40 pixels bottom, and auto left. Save it, refresh the browser, and this looks good. What I want to do now is to add a hover effect, so I want to change the background color. And again, we can actually copy this one, 
we can paste it, remove everything inside of it, and after the diff, we need to write down colon hover. The first thing that I want to add is a transition because I don't want it to pop up immediately of 0 0.25 seconds and I want it to ease dash in. And whenever someone hovers over it, I want the background color to be white. So let's write down background dash color and the color is hashtag FFF FFF. Save it, test the output. So let's hover over our box and you can see that the background color changes to white. What I want to do now is to style the content inside of it. So let's go to our index. And as you can see, we have a class FAS, another one which is called FAS and a FAR. And what we can do is something that I actually haven't showed you before is well to go to our style sheet and let's write down hashtag grid dash layout dash 33 space and we want to style well punctuation mark fast comma punctuation mark far and what we're basically saying right here is that we want to style the fast and the far inside the grid layout 33 so they're basically getting the same styling so let's add curly brackets and the first thing that I want to say is that the color is equal to 666666 which is gray and I want the font size to be 50 pixels because they're pretty small right now so let's save it let's refresh the browser and this is actually what we want now for our web development brand identity and creative design we can actually create a global styling right at the top again So right below our H2, let's write down H3. And what we want to say is that the font size is equal to 20 pixels. And we want the text transform to be uppercase. So we want all the letters to be uppercase. And for the paragraph, well, we actually need to go to the bottom. So right below grid layout 33, let's write down grid dash layout 33 and the paragraph. And we want the font size to be 16 pixels and we want the color to be gray as well. So let's save it. Let's refresh the browser. And we're actually done right now. And in my opinion, the output looks amazing. What I want to do right now is to add, well, a new div. So let's say div hashtag test. Let's save it. Let's go to the style sheet and let's write down hashtag test and let's set the height equal to 1000 pixels. Save it, let's refresh the browser, and you can see that we actually can scroll down. But what I want to show you is that, well, whenever we click on a button, we will be redirected to surfaces. But the problem is that the margin is right outside of surfaces. So instead of saying margin, we actually need to add padding because padding is right inside the H2 element. So let's go to the style sheet. Well, we actually need to go to our introduction section and let's set the margin of top equal to zero and let's set the padding equal to 80 pixels top and the rest is zero. So let's save it and refresh it. And what we can do now is to click on the button and you can see that we will be redirected to the padding and not to the margin. This was it for this episode and in the next episode, I want to add a video inside my page. If you do enjoy my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.